Go ahead, Drake. No, no, no. I'm just curious, like, damn, you're basically part of that global NBA movement in a sense, like, you know what I'm saying? But they, that was around the time they were trying to get basketball probably in all of the world places like China, you know, here, the Europe and those places like that because we were looking around those too many foreign players back then, right? Tony Kuko was just 96. Yeah, 96 around that time. So, yeah, we just started transitioning to the foreign players. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's dope. So, I met Yao Ming in China uh, in 2001. Okay. Uh, you know, playing on some CBA exhibition tours. He was playing with the Shanghai Sharks. Yeah, Timmy Gaffer. And so uh, I had uh, Chris Anderson, the Birdman. You know, Birdman. Yeah, yeah, yeah got you. So he was. That he, we went to China together. For he from Texas too, ain't he? Uh, a little small town, Iola, or I, Iola, Texas. Yeah, he's he went to yeah. Blend here with the Blend Junior yeah, yeah, College. Yeah, Blend. Okay, okay, I knew he that. He left about. Blend Junior College to come on that tour with us. Oh wow! And so that's that's how I met him and. Uh, you know, big, big, tall country boy. Uh, he was always, you know, swish house, rapping screw music. <laughs> you know, he was always with the screw culture. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, we're both from Texas. We had all these guys from California because there was some guys all over on that tour. But uh, nah, man. So, yeah, that was at the time when the NBA was trying to get this whole thing going. And now, you know, the NBA, they taking teams over to China. And I end up getting that contract later on. Like when the NBA teams come to China, I do like a lot of translation for the teams and stuff like that. And they come over. Oh, so you talk that talk. Ni hao. Okay. Ni hao. <laughs> Is that hello? Yes, you got it. Ni hao. Yeah. 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 What else you know? Ni hao wo de mei guo peng yo. Hello, my American friends. Wo hun gao xing lai dao jo li. Very happy to be here today. Okay, nigga, you talk that shit for real? Ni hao. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on, let me look at you. You married? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, yeah okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, he trying to say how many? How you, you trying to say how many Chinese? Hey man, mean? hey man, hey. No, no, we ain't gonna do that, man. Listen, man. Listen, I, I, that's why I asked were you married. That you know? definitely was the question, though. That was the question he was going. Well, of course it was a question. I wanted to know, you know, like, you know, like, see, I was in the Navy. There you go. And you know, they would tell it's old jokes in the Navy, like, you know, <laughs> like know. black men have tails and shit like that. Like, you know. Well, you know, hey. All it's, kinds it's of crazy like this. So, you know, and I going back and forth to China, yeah, I come back and, you know, boys be like, oh, see, man, I know you got all kind of kids in them third world countries. Like, nah, <laughs> nah, I mean, like, there are more effective ways for me to use this communication, <laughs> man. I'm actually trying to extract some of this money out of China. You know, the USA owes China trillion, right? Trillions. Right. Okay, why you think I want to go live in China for that long? Okay. Because I know that's why, yeah, right. we can set up. Me and Stefan Marbury, I mean, hey, we're going to stay in China. How, how did that come about? Let's talk. Well, before we get into Stefan yeah. Marbury, I noticed you had, um, um, I think it was China. You had the, the China League, the, Pan the Panama League, and there was another one. And you had the golf and basketball. What was, what was the third one? China, okay. Panama. Yeah. So under, under To God Be The Glory Sports, what we've done is we've uh, developed some media platforms to just keep track of uh, basketball in different parts of the world. So we have ChinaHoops.net. Yeah, that's what it was. AfricaHoops.com. Yes. IndiaHoops.net. Puerto Rico Hoops.net. And GolfingHoops.com. So Golf and Hoops is really more so, uh, you know, all these ex-basketball players, ex-NBA players, they all like to play golf. You know, I yeah, like right. when Moses Malone was alive. I play with Moses all the time when I come home from China. Ricky Pierce, these ex NBA guys, that's who really got me into playing golf. So I travel around and try to hook up with these ex guys and just test my golf game. So those platforms are just really about trying to reach those. Hey, Africa got a billion people on that continent. Facts. India got a billion people on that continent. So these are places where the NBA is trying to set up shop, and I just want to be at the front of that.